Most of my project uses images in some form. In this episode I will show you how to bake images into the final SVF file using SVF mill. All links uh, you need is below. Um, the first thing is we need to do is to download and install uh, SVF mill. Uh, when installed you can check if it's there by typing SVF mill like this. And you can see it is installed and we are running version 030. And it has been that for a long time, but it doesn't matter, it's working nicely. So I still need the terminal window. So I have uh, made an example you can download from GitHub. Um, and after downloading it, we sh you should have um, these files. It's inside a, a folder called episode 2. So let's uh, walk through the file. This is, um, this is the F SVF file project and the enclosing file is uh, a hexa project from last episode. Um, the first thing you need um, or all you need is an images and an <coughs> XML file. Remove this file, you don't need that. So um, let's uh, have a look at the, uh, the XML file. So you see it again here, you find it here. So the first line is uh, the entry point for an XML file and this is not something you should touch. The next uh, line um, is used by SVF mill and tells it's a movie and it's run with uh, version 9 of, hex of uh, Flash, the Flash executor, and the width, the height and the frame rate. This is not used by hex, so you can actually delete it if you want. Um, I'll just leave it here for now. Then you have the frame tag. Um, this is not something you need, but uh, you can leave it in there if you like. And then you have the library uh, tag. This is definitely something you need and you cannot delete it, then you will break the code. And now you have uh, the bitmap tag and uh, SVF could support other tags, but uh, we want to use a bitmap. Then you have the ID attribute. And that is the name that will be recognized by Hexa, so you can call it whatever you like. Uh, I put the suffix bitmap on. Um, and then you have the path to the image you want to use in Hexa. And I have put it inside the library folder, images, and there it is. And this name has to be the exact same name as this one. So. Let's try to build it with a SVF mill. So first of all, you have to be in the SVF mill folder. So I'm seeding into that, just dropping in it like that. And then you have to run a very simple command. Um, I just paste it in like this. SPF mill, simple, resource XML, that's the name of this one. It could be anything you like. And resource SPF, that's the output name. So when we run it, voila, we got a resource SPF file. And that's it for now. So the next thing is you have to make it work in Hexa. You have to actually go in and pick out the resources from Hexa. And you can do that by modifying the build file. It's here. And you can see I'm linking that file into the Hexa project by adding this line. And again, this could be anything you like. It's the name of this file. So if I, the next thing you have to do is to declare a file or class with, um, with an exact match to this name. And I have, declared inside a folder called bitmaps. It inherits from the flash display bitmap class 
and this is the exact name from the from the build from the resource file this one and then it extends bitmap it has to have a public function new and it calls this super class that's bitmap so when that is done you now have a hexacast bitmap you can add to your stage and i do that inside the main and this is the project from last time but i just added lib current add child and then i create a new hexabitmap file so i try to build this like this it compiled success and now i can open my index file inside firefox i will do so and then we have our bitmap to see it's actually working i can go back to the main and outcome this line and i have to build it again i can reload it now it's gone so uh, when you get used to it, this is really fast all you have to do is to add a bitmap in here put a line there run the command and create a class and that's it for now now you have bitmaps embedded into a hexa project